Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to foam roll your hamstrings. That big muscle group on the back of the legs, there are three of them, but for our purposes we treat them as one. For the foam rolling technique that we are going to use, it's going to cover all three. Why do we want to do this? Most often times people strain, sprain their hamstring just taking a long step because it's so shortened from sitting down from our everyday life activity. The other thing is you want to have a really high kick for all those dance moves we're going to do. So let's have a look. You're going to set up your foam roller just underneath the glute muscles about here. We're going to split it in half. So you're going to roll the top half of the leg, then the bottom half. Let's set up the top half first because that's what, that is the easier setup of the two. So you could put both legs out in front, plant one foot, or rest down on one knee. Your choice, whatever you find the most comfortable. Find your balance with your hands. Next, you're gonna point your toe towards your nose. Tip forward a little bit at the hips. This is gonna put the hamstrings into a stretched position already. So you'll be sure to feel this foam rolling as we go. So I'm going halfway down and back up to that ischial, ischial tuberosity that you feel, that little bone that you feel just at the edge of the glute muscles. Nice deep breaths. If it's too much, take a break. So we are elongating the fascial tissue, stretching out the muscles. And in order to, for this to have effect on your fascial tissue, you need to do it slow and controlled. If there's any point where you feel a referral pattern from a myofascial trigger point, like a palpable nodule, very sore to touch, you'll know they're intense. You could rest on top of that as long as you can breathe through it. until you feel that pain subside. If it doesn't subside, keep going slowly over and back. You can come back to it. If you do have a trigger point within the muscle, it would decrease the muscle's strength and length. So it's important that you get that worked out. If you can't do it yourself through the myofascial release, through the foam rolling, then you should go see a massage therapist. Let's take it to the lower half of the leg. This one's a little bit trickier because there's more balance involved. So I might put my knee down for this version. Going right to the edge of the knee and back. So I'm not rolling behind the knee, just right before that point. Deep breaths. Toes still pointed towards my nose as best I can. Getting as much pressure down as I can on that leg. That's all there is to it. Next, you would do the other leg. If you haven't given foam rolling a try yet, it is so beneficial. It helps prevent injuries. And the great thing is you don't have to be warmed up to do it, unlike our static stretching. Try it before you get an injury. Don't wait till afterwards to incorporate this into your fitness routine.